What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. We're almost through Series 8, we're almost to Series 9. We only have nine days left, but today I figured I would reveal a new team. I don't know if I'm gonna make this team in game in time for the series to end. I don't even know if it's worth it or if I should get started on my Series 9 team. But today we're gonna be using a Rayquaza team with Power Herb on it. If you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content, and answer my common question of the day. What do you think about Rayquaza in the format? I feel like it's actually a pretty decent Pokemon that's been overlooked. However, Zacian does make it a little bit difficult to run. But yeah, uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the team. So first of all, obviously we're running Rayquaza with Power Herb and Airlock. Airlock just removes the effects of all weather, so if there's hail, you're not taking hail damage. If there's sand, you're not taking sand damage. Most importantly, it makes it so things like Chlorophyll and Swift Swim don't really matter, and it actually makes it so um, I can ignore things like Venusaur and outspeed them with my Rayquaza, uh, allowing me to go for these powerful max airstreams without fear of getting put to sleep, especially since Rayquaza isn't being protected by Tapu Fini's Misty Terrain since it's flying. But yeah, that's actually really cool. We're running Meteor Beam, Hurricane, Flamethrower, and Protect. This thing is going to be our main Dynamax, uh, our main Dynamax target. Uh, and I did opt to run Flamethrower over Dragon Stab because I feel like Dragon Stab, as strong as it is, Hurricane with Max Airstream, it's going to be doing enough damage where I can forego that sort of thing. And I'd much rather have Flamethrower to help deal with opposing Zacian. At plus one speed, this guy's going to be able to outspeed everything in the game except for Regieleki, which does include things like Calyrex Shadow, so that is really nice. To help him out, we're running a Grim Snarl with Light Clay, Prankster, Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Scary Face, standard specially defensive set. We have a Figgy Berry, Incineroar, Sassy Nature, Zero Speed, Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Taunt, Parting Shot. I'm just running Zero Speed because I don't really care about winning the Fake Out War, I'd much rather just be able to get a Parting Shot off last. We're running an Assault Vest, Rillaboom, Fake Out, Grassy Glide, Bulldoze, Wood Hammer. Bulldoze being able to activate uh, the weakness policy from Metagross is pretty solid in a couple of matchups. And Tapu Fini, of course, is going to be just a nice fairy and water type for this team. I am running Heal Pulse because I feel like it's decent tech, you know, like some people will opt to run Calm Mind, but I feel like, you know, while this Tapu Fini can be optimized to be more defensive, and I would prefer it to be that way, I'm lazy and I don't feel like doing the calcs for a team that's not going to be brought to a tournament, so just run Heal Pulse offensive, whatever, you know. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, I actually set something up recently that I keep forgetting to mention in videos. I have an Amazon affiliate link, which means that if you want to support the channel, you can actually order Amazon products through this channel, which allows me to take a small cut of the profits and just, you know, support the channel in general. It doesn't make anything cost anymore. It's almost just like I referred you to the product. Uh, links to anything you want to buy, which are, I, I pretty much just put Nintendo Switch products like chargers, AC adapters, uh, docks, and Joy-Cons. I just added those to my particular thing. You know, they're in the description down below if you want to check them out, no pressure. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, let's grab a match. I had to get up and use the bathroom. <laughs> Sometimes I'll like start recording and forget that, you know, I am a human who needs to use the bathroom before he records. All right, so we're facing Sun, which can be a little bit frustrating. However, not for Grim's, or not for Rayquaza. Um, I'm gonna lead off Rayquaza Grimmsnarl because it's safe in pretty much every situation here, regardless of what they lead. I guess the only thing that could be annoying is Landorus, but if they lead off with the Charizard, I can actually just scary face into, into a Meteor Beam to one-shot it. In the back here, I am pretty much inclined just to bring the Incineroar, and I think my last Pokemon, as dangerous as it sounds, I'm tempted to bring Metagross, mainly just because it's not likely, or I guess they would bring, you know, Charizard and Venusaur. Um, and Torkoal, obviously. Dang, this last, this last Mon's a little bit of a tough choice. Uh, I kind of want to go Tapu Fini. We'll go Tapu Fini. All right, as they lead off with the Charizard Grim Snarl lead, I can hope that they predict me to be a physical attacker uh, and just go for the Meteor Beam into the Charizard, and I'm going to go ahead and set up my Scary Face onto that thing, uh, hopefully reducing its speed before they can reduce mine. As they go for a Thunder Wave and miss my Rayquaza, that's why you run Scary Face. Give me this thing. That's why you run Scary Face. Bam. Got him. And there's the Zacian Crown. Uh, at this point, I feel pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and just go for the Raw Protect into a uh, Scary Face here. 
as I Thunder Wave my Rayquaza. Get my scary face off. The Behemoth Blade, obviously. I'm gonna go for my Max Flare and a second scary face, and as long as I don't get fully paralyzed here, actually I should just... Uh, Behemoth Blade won't knock me out through Reflect, so I could just... I think I get the most opportunities to KO it if I Max Flare and Reflect here. Because I can scary face it next turn. I'll Reflect, yeah. Because that will allow me to live. As they get in the Landorus. Alright. They go for a light screen, which makes sense. Let me go ahead and airstream this Grim Snarl. Actually, do I care? I'm just going to airstream the Landorus and KO it. Yeah. And... I can just go ahead and Spirit Break the Grim Snarl. doesn't matter. Ooh, okay. Alright, Rock Tomb is kind of cool tech for Lando. Get that KO. I'll go ahead. I, I mean, I'm going to live anyways, I think, so I'll just max flare and scary face. Or actually, I think it's technically my play to go in cinema here and max flare. Just to always guarantee the live. So they have Behemoth Blade the Incineroar. Give me that thing. Ooh, it lived, okay. Uh, at least I actually get fake out pressure, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Nice. So yeah, um, most people would think that Rayquaza has a pretty bad Zacia matchup, or Zacia matchup, but it's actually only, you know, kind of bad, given you have the right support. Um, you don't really see too much Trick Room Kyogre nowadays. It's usually just uh, Tailwind Kyogre. I actually don't feel terrible leading off Ray here, but they're likely... It depends, right? So if I lead off Ray, I can deal with the Zapdos pretty easily. But if they uh, end up going for a Trick Room on lead, that is going to make this a little bit more difficult. I pretty much always have to lead off Grimmsnarl. That's just a given. Uh, I can go Grimmsnarl and Cinderor here. Bring the Rillaboom, and I think for this game, I'm somewhat tempted just to leave the Ray at home, to be honest. I could go Metagross. I could go Metagross here. And I'm somewhat tempted to. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go Metagross. As they go Grimmsnarl, Umbreon. I can go ahead and just fake out this Grimmsnarl and go for a Spirit Break. Usually Grimmsnarl doesn't carry um doesn't carry fake out in this format anymore, so that would allow me to get this off pretty safely. Get a decent chunk of damage as they try to foul play mine. And are they they're offensive Grimmsnarl, what? Okay. Um Mine went first, so I'll just Spirit Break again, and I'm actually going to go ahead and taunt that Umbreon to make sure it can't go for... What, what are they doing? Are they just trying to Spirit Break my Grimmsnarl? I'm confused here. Anyways, Umbreon's not going to be able to go for, like, Yawn or anything. There's the Kyogre. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll Light Screen here. And I think I just go Rillaboom. Assault Vest means I'm going to take that pretty easily. And here, I can go ahead and just scary face and try to knock this guy out. Oh, I'm not G-Max. I'm not G-Max. Better fix that. Better fix that. There we go. All right. Yeah, I should be able to scary face max overgrowth here and just straight up KO it. As they send in the Zapdos, uh, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. I'll go ahead and I'll scary face it again just to KO. And, yeah, the max overgrowth of KO from this range. Actually, there's no reason the scary face is there. I'll just double into it. Just in case it lives. Foul play did 24% and I still have some recovery, so it's whatever. They're really thinking here. They're like, hmm, how can I live this? 
yeah, they're just gone. Nice. Yeah, uh, with that being their Dynamax target, I'm going to say I just win now. GG. Good game. Nice. So we got two wins in a row right now. Let's go for three. All right. So yeah, uh, I actually showed this to a buddy of mine the other day, and they did point out that it has kind of a weak Calyrex Ice matchup. So I'm kind of hoping to avoid that today. The way that I would actually play around Calyrex Ice with this team is just straight up leaving Rayquaza at home and playing with Metagross as my restricted in a way. Um, I pretty much have to just go for screens and like attack from that point. I have not seen a single Eternatus like all season. This is going to be interesting. I know it can actually be pretty threatening, so I got to be careful. Hmm. That's obviously Urshifu Dark, given they have a Araquanid here. And I don't have Dragon coverage. This is actually going to be kind of a scary one. I'm going to lead off Ray Grimmsnarl. I'll bring Metagross for sure here, and I think my last Mon has to be Tapu Fini. Could even be Rillaboom, actually, but I think Tapu Fini is probably just a little bit better to help me deal with the uh, Urshifu. Now the question, is it dual screens or is it something else? Because it could be Assault Bust Electroweb. Regardless, Protect here is very safe. I'll go ahead and I'll go for this. Um, I could Scary Face right now and then Spirit Break it next turn. I think a Light Screen's a little bit better though. So they Dynamax Cannon. Let me go ahead and get in my Metagross here as I set up a Spirit Break on the Eternatus. And they Dynamax the Coco. Is it physical? Yep, that's physical. So they Sludge Wave. I can tank that. Ooh, okay, that's kind of that's kind of nasty to be honest. But yeah, as soon as Eternatus is neutralized, this isn't really an issue. I'll go ahead and I'll Dynamax this boy. I can go for the Max Quake into the Eternatus pretty safely, as well as set up a Reflect here to make sure that I don't take much from this. Oh wait, they're Telepathy Coco. I just realized that Max Lightning wouldn't do much anyways. <laughs> There's a Sludge Wave as they knock me out and I get that KO. Let me go ahead and send in the Finny just to protect pretty much. Also behind Reflect, Finny can easily tank a hit from the um, Tabu Coco. There's probably an, uh, an Urshfu in the back is my best guess. I'm going to go ahead and... I think I'm just going to go ahead and max Quake this Incineroar, as well as... I can try to Heal Pulse this thing, but a Muddy Water might be better. I think I'll just Muddy Water. Yeah, I mean, I was going to get faked out anyways. We'll eat that hit, get my Berry. Max Quake the Incin for a straight up KO. And there's the Kartana. I'm going to say that's game if their last Monza Kartana. I can just max Quake this Tapu Koko. And um, I don't really care for the Kartana. I could protect if I really wanted to. I'll protect. That's fine. They went for a Leaf Blade. I don't mind losing the Finny here. As long as I take the Tapu Koko with me. So, uh, my play is always to attempt to double protect. And I do get it. Not that it matters. They try to Sacred Sword me. I get the Tapu Koko, and that's GG. Because, yeah, because I would just send in the um, the Rayquaza and get that KO. All right. Ooh, okay. This is actually uh, one of my better matchups, I think, because the Rayquaza lead's extremely safe. And the question is, do I lead off Incineroar or Grimmsnarl? I'm tempted to go Incineroar, just because it's overall very nice. Uh, Grimmsnarl is going to be useful here anyways. Basically, I want to make sure that I don't get KO'd by either Koba Berry or... Or not KO'd, but slept by Koba Berry or Focus Ash and Moongus, so I should pretty much always lead off Incineroar here. And I think my last Mon, after the Grimmsnarl, is going to have to be this Metagross here. Metagross behind screens can go kind of stupid in this game. Let me drop a GLHF. I always forget to do that. I always forget to do that. There's the Zacian Crowned. Okay. Honestly, I feel pretty good about this lead, mainly because I can just drop a Meteor Beam on that Tornadus for free. 
Matter of fact, I'm just gonna do that. Let me let me drop this meteor beam on this tornadus. And is there a point in predicting a fake out? Or er, predicting a protect? Is there a point? Maybe. I'm not gonna predict the protect. This is just safe. I would assume they'd always just tailwind here. So they go for Landotherian, that's fine. I'm still gonna get a huge chunk of damage off on this thing. There we go. Um, I could protect here and attempt a parting shot on the Zacian. That'd probably be ideal here. I would assume they would just go for like an Earthquake or not even Earthquake, but like maybe a Max Quake into the Incin. Which I don't mind as long as I get the Grim in. They could even Airstream and I'd be fine. Ooh, what if my play is to... I kind of want to Max Guard, assuming they'd Max Airstream my, my Rayquaza. That might be safer. And I'm going to try to Parting Shot here. Because my, my my biggest concern is they go for max airstream into whatever onto the ray. Behemoth blade, awesome. And now I can just set up a reflect. Or not a reflect. Yeah, I guess a reflect. I could also... Do I outspeed you at... If you're at minus two, I'm at minus one. I think I still outspeed. I'm gonna go ahead and flare. I think I outspeed. Yeah, get him out of here. Nice. So there goes their restricted. And I still have screens and a turn of Dynamax. There's their Tornadus. Uh, feel pretty good going for the light screen here into an Airstream. Yeah, so they Dynamax the Reggie like he could be a little bit concerning. I eat that hit pretty well, actually. There's the Icy Wind. All right. So if their last Pokemon is Landorus, I'm not terribly concerned. They didn't go for a Tailwind, too. So what I could do here is, let me think, 277 divided by two. Gotta do some math, gotta do some math, where's my phone? Actually, I can just do that in my head, right? That's uh, 130, 139, which I would not speed. Actually, no, I would, 149. Yeah, I can go Incineroar here and scary face this Regieleki. And what that'll do is it'll make it so, um. When this Dynamax ends, I can just outspeed it and kill it. As they fly, try to knock out the Incin. Yeah. I can go ahead and just get out of here. Uh, I'll, I'll try to Parting Shot the Reggie Lucky to make it safer. But now... I think I just Spirit Break. They fly into Grim. Nice. Hmm. I think this is technically my safest play. Ice Punch the Landorus into a scary face. Because they're probably Assault Vest. And then I can just win with the uh, with the remaining Pokemon in the back. Especially since the Electroweb on the Metagross wouldn't matter. Because I'm going to get outsped by the Regieleki, but I should take anything from it. They go for the Protect. Awesome. Give me that thing. GG. Stomping Tantrum into the Scary Face. Nice. Awesome. This is going pretty well. Let's get uh, let's get one more for the vid. Let's get one more. And then I have to go study for an exam I got today. Ooh, okay. Alright. So, facing Shadow Rex Psy Spam with a Trick Room option. This one might actually beat me here. Um, I definitely want to bring the Incineroar on lead, that's just like safe. And I think I lead off pretty passively here. I don't think I bring Metagross under any situation, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Ray and Finny in the pack.
Because what that will allow me to do is uh, Finny's just going to be nice for getting rid of Psychic Terrain. And with screens up, it'll make it a lot easier to deal with the Caloric Shadow. If they go hard Trick Room mode, it's going to be a much more difficult matchup. But uh, screens plus Incineroar might save me. Alright, let's see if we called it right. Incineroar and Caloric Shadow. Nice. So I don't think they brought Trick Room. Which is really sweet. Let's see. Um, the opposing Incineroar went first. Yep, go figure. I can go ahead and Parting Shot this Calyrex for free. They're likely just going to go ahead and try to Max Quake me or whatever and fake out my Grim Snarl. I'll set up a Light Screen. Because I don't think they stand with Calyrex Shadow unless they Quake. That's fine. They Parting Shot my Incinera or whatever. So they send in the Glacier, that's fine. Let me go ahead and Parting Shot you and get off a Reflect. I should be taking pretty much anything from this Calyrex. So they Protect, good play. Let me... I'm assuming they're going to want to Quake here. They should never go for an Ice move. I'm actually going to get in the Ray here. I'm going to do something kind of crazy. I'm going to go kind of crazy here. Yep, they should Quake, right? Oh yeah. Awesome. Now they're going to Ice move. So I can go ahead and just spam Muddy Water for a little bit. Basically what I wanted to do there was either predict the Quake or the High Horsepower and then just go for um, a Meter Beam if possible, but even if I can't do that, I can just start clicking this. There's the Parting Shot. I'm assuming they Ice move now. There's no way they didn't. You know, Aromatisse is on their team, and I have to say Aromatisse is pretty slept on in my opinion. Ooh, okay, Quake the Finny, whatever. I can taunt this Glacier, since it's, it's at minus one, so I'll be fine. And what I'm actually going to do is Muddy Water again. And taunt, not taunt the Glacier, taunt the Indeedee to make sure they can't follow me. Ooh, that might actually be annoying. Drop their Accuracy, taunt the Indeedee. Now I can Parting Shot for free. Max Knuckle, mm, I don't think that was your play, bro. Let me Parting Shot and go for another one of these. Yeah, because they can't follow me. They would have to get in the Incineroar again. Or Expanding Force. There's the Incineroar. Are they going to protect? They do not. So they're just going to let me get a minus one on this thing. And I'm going to send them the Grim now, assuming they might they might have predicted that. They had horsepower. They did not predict. I'll go ahead and click Spirit Break on this Glacier for some damage and Muddy Water again. This Tapu Fini is just so, so annoying to them, I can tell. Actually, I could, um, I could go Incineroar again and just Muddy Water. It's probably safer. Nice. They unnerve me, get a Muddy Water off, and unfortunately I don't knock out the Incin. But that's fine, it knocks itself out. Everything works out in the end, we're good. And to be honest, I'm somewhat tempted to Dynamax my Incineroar here as a flex. You know what, we're going to do it. We're going to flex. Check this out. Biggest flex of my life. They're going to try to quake my Incineroar. Guarantee you. But I'm going to live. Expanding force. Nice. And I'll be taking your Glacier, sir. Nice. I don't think they can win anymore, to be honest. Yeah, there it is. There's the forfeit. So sweet. Uh, we got some, I mean, you know, high mid ladder, low high ladder. We got some wins with the Rayquaza team. I'm satisfied with how it works. If I could, you know, make it in game, I would. And I might. I might have some time this week, but it seems pretty busy. I have to head home for the weekend and do stuff. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in it, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications. 
And, uh, you know, just join the Discord, check out my Amazon affiliate link, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.